In this video, you will learn how to successfully apply Dynock brand architectural finishes to inside corners. Before applying film, always clean the substrate to be sure it is free of dust and contaminants. Wipe with a solution of 70% isopropyl alcohol and 30% water and wipe dry. Be sure your hands are clean and free of dirt and lotions to avoid contaminating the adhesive. And always work on a clean surface with clean tools. You will need a cutting tool with break-off blades, two 3M brand applicator PA1 gold squeegees. One squeegee should have the edge protected with the soft loop side of 3M's hook and loop tape or a 3M brand low friction sleeve PA1. 3M brand adhesion promoter. 3M's Primer 94 is a solvent-based product. A one inch wide bristle paint brush. A liner cutter. This type of cutter has a guide under the blade that allows you to cut through only the liner. One option is the Seam Buster, a product from Advanced Equipment Manufacturing. A 1 8 inch thick ruler or similar tool. And a half inch wide rigid cutting guide. Use a paintbrush to apply the adhesion promoter along both sides of the inside corner, along the entire length of the area to which you will be applying film. Allow it to dry for 5 to 15 minutes. Prepare two panels of film. For each panel, use the liner cutter to cut a straight, one and a half inch wide strip of liner from the edge that will go into the corner. That is, the right side of one panel and the left side of the other panel. Do not remove the liner from these strips. Roll back some liner and crease it. Position the first panel so the cut in the liner fits into the corner and the narrow strip of film wraps to the other wall. Use your fingers to lightly adhere the top edge of the film to the wall. Roll back the narrow strip of film to be sure the cut in the liner fits snugly into the corner. Then pull down a few inches of liner. Squeegee the film. The proper squeegee technique is to work from the center to edge, center to edge, always pushing the air to the nearest edge and using firm overlapping strokes. Continue removing more liner and squeegeeing the film onto the wall. Go over all edges with the squeegee again. Roll back the film that still has liner adhered to it and remove the liner. Holding the film with the exposed adhesive away from the wall, use the edge of the squeegee to work the film into the corner, squeegeeing only on the side where the film is already adhered. Then, run the squeegee up the inside corner to ensure a tight, smooth corner. Position a one half inch wide cutting guide against the inside corner and trim the film along the outside edge of the guide. That's the left side in this video. Remove the excess film. Apply adhesion promoter over the narrow strip of film and overlapping onto the wall. Allow it to dry for 5 to 15 minutes. Roll back a few inches of liner and crease it. Position the second panel of film so the cut in the liner fits into the corner, just as you did with the first film panel. Use your fingers to lightly adhere the exposed adhesive of the film to the wall, just above the crease. Pulling down a few inches of film at a time, squeegee as described before. Go over all the edges of the film with a squeegee before continuing. Roll back the film from the corner and remove the liner from the film. While lightly holding back the edge of the film, use the edge of the squeegee to work the film into the corner. Run the edge of the squeegee up and down the inside corner to get good adhesion. Hold the 1 8 inch thick ruler against the wall on the side you installed last. Draw the tool down the inside corner while trimming the film. Use only enough pressure to cut through the top layer of film. Continue to hold the ruler against the film 
while carefully removing the excess film. This helps prevent lifting the applied film as well as preventing tears where there are places that were not cleanly cut. Draw the edge of the squeegee down the inside corner to ensure a smooth finish. Inside corners are just that easy with 3M brand Dynot architectural finishes. Please see our website for more videos on applying 3M's Dynoc brand architectural finishes.